Let's talk about John Madden because we feel like oh. we're going to talk about a couple things, Mooch. We're going to talk about John Madden. We're going to talk about Thanksgiving food. And those are two of your favorite things, I think. <laughs> so what is your favorite John Madden story? Oh, God. How much time do we have? We have like uh, all day. It's as a podcast. much as you want. So I, I was sitting here, you know, waiting on this Zoom. I'm waiting for eight minutes, listening to you guys. So I knew we were going to talk about John Madden, right? So I went over, I went over and grabbed a, a photo. I got a bunch of stuff from him. You know, we we did a a bocce ball tournament for. It's been going on for 25 years, and 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 Susie, Rich has been there. We've had we've had our crew up there, Cliff Clavin. Amy's been there many times. In fact, I, I hate to admit this, but Amy, one time, it was raining out, so <clears throat> half the courts are indoors, half the courts are outdoors. We put the Raiders outdoors in the rain. True fact. She filed a protest. True fact. Because she, she had two inches. So what? There's two inches of water on your court. What's the big deal? And she filed a protest. Whining. Hey, and hey, hey. I That law degree... Comes in handy, Mooch. I did file a protest. I used that. Thank you very much, Mom and Dad, for the law degree. Well, nobody else filed a protest that we're playing outside. You gotta, but you got to play loser. better than your field conditions, Mooch. I mean, this is <laughs> you, ridiculous. You have to step up. Wear longer cleats or something. I don't know, but you got to deal with it. But we've had a million Raiders, right? A lot of the Hall of Famers, a lot of the rookies, what, whatever. We, we, we've had Niners and whatnot. But one, I went and grabbed a photo uh, off, the, off the wall. Of John and I, look at this. I hope you can see it. Can you see this? Go down. A little bit lower. Go down. Lower. Lower. There awesome. you go. Don't awesome. move. Okay. So Mooch, that, your hair was a lot darker. Yeah. And so look at this. This is we're in a golf cart, right? We're in a golf cart. Why I let John Madden drive, I have no idea. But we're having a good time. <laughs> that is coffee in my mug. And so this is a monumental day for me because I never quit anything in my whole life except one thing, golf. And so we are golfing over at Ruby Hills. I was we there. Fourth hole. Yeah. And and he goes, Mooch, are you hungry? I go, duh, yeah. Boom, he took a left. We went into the clubhouse. Uh, after four holes of golf, we, we ate and drank and kidded around all day, waited for everybody to finish and have their big dinner and all that auction stuff. And that's the very last time I ever golfed. That was like 15 years ago. So this was the day maybe he maybe he made me quit. Maybe I was so bad because he was talking when I was hitting. I don't know. But, um, you know, we had, we've had a lot of great times together. Um, and, it, and it's not just not just uh, socially, but when even when he was working, we had a, he made it fun. In fact, when I was in Green Bay, uh, I was the coach of the Niners. And I was, uh, he, you do the interview with the production meeting on his bus. And so I'm on the bus and he goes, Mooch, where'd you live when you were coaching Green Bay? I go, oh, come on, let's go. The, the, so we drove the bus over <laughs> to my house, about a mile and a half away from the stadium, down a cul-de-sac, kids coming out of the doors, hey, Madden bus, are banging on the bus. And he was just, he was just driving his bus around the neighborhood, checking out where everybody lived. I'm here, sure, Lou's there, Holmgren's there, Favre's over there. And he, we, we didn't, I don't even think we talked about the game. It was all about reminiscing about things. And, and, um, and he was so good to those kids and he was just having a blast. He made it fun. It was incredible. Hey, Mooch, those Mariucci Madden bocce tournaments you did were magnificent. I never missed one during my years with the team. And I will always, always, always remember the time, the team, the Raider team on which I was participating. And by participating, I mean coaching. We beat Madden's team. And I oh. strode around that bocce cart. Oh. I have a picture of it. I will dig it out with my Amen. arms straight above my head. I was marching around. I was preening and prancing. And you <laughs> know you're not being a good sport or you're over the top. When Willie Brown... Old man Willie Brown puts his hand on my shoulders and said, calm down, calm, you know, take it down a notch. Take it. When Willie Brown is telling you to take it yeah. down a notch, you're over the top. And by the way, that Ruby Hill thing, I was driving my own golf cart. If you weren't happy with Madden driving, I'd have driven you around. Just think maybe I would have continued to golf if I was driving around with you. There you go. But, but I'm, I'm, I'm kind of glad I quit because it's just I just. I wasn't any good. So, yeah, you were at a lot of those bocce events. Oh, my God. 
We've raised eight million dollars. I mean, it's it's magnificent. It's been, we're gonna obviously we're keeping it going. We had our twenty five year anniversary uh, this past year. For those yeah. of us, by the way, listening, you can go to the Rich Eisen Show YouTube page and see these photographs. We're going to show a couple more photographs and go back down memory lane with Mooch. Mooch, I too have been on the Madden Cruiser. Do you know this? Have you? Um, what were you doing? Leslie Visser, who you know yeah. is I'm responsible to for the rest of my life because she was my mentor and got me into the game. He used to give Leslie the Madden Cruiser to use for a um, gal about town, so to speak, bar cruiser. So Leslie what? would invite any women that she, you know, Leslie is the OG about being um, um, responsible and supportive of women coming up in the business. And I was her intern at CBS Sports. And she would invite women in the business to go on the Madden cruiser. We would show up at the Dakota and go to John Madden's apartment on the first floor. We'd have cocktails with him where he'd walk around. Yes, yes. He would walk yeah. around with a bottle of booze and plastic glasses, okay? And uh, I don't think we have the picture handy. We will post it later. He would sh- he would pour you out the booze in the plastic cups. Then we'd all go in the Madden Cruiser, and we'd cruise around and go bar hopping. Now, there is nothing cooler in the entire world than going on the Madden Cruiser in Manhattan. I mean, (laughs) you want to look hotter than you really are, get off the Madden Cruiser. And it was so amazing. And I was, and Mood stopped me, uh, you would not even recognize, I'm going to show you the fattest face kid you've ever seen. I was like 21, 22. And there I was on the Madden Cruiser with Leslie Visser and Leslie and Wayne from CBS Sports. And and I'm telling you right now, Mooch, it was one of the best nights of my life. My brother was like, what the hell are you doing on the Madden Cruiser? But it was so cool. And what I thought was so interesting about John Madden, and I'm curious about your take, is what I never knew about him was how shy he was. That, to me, was the biggest surprise because, you know, you know him from, like, you know, boom, and all these commercials, and he's bigger than life. But I had no idea how shy he was in person. So, okay, you know what an extrovert is, <laughs> right? You know what an introvert is? The opposite, right? Well, you know what an ambivert is? Have you heard of that? Mm-mm. An ambivert is a person who has to have both of those in his. He has he has to be able to be an extrovert at times and then quiet down me time introvert at times. And and John had the ability um, to to do that. He he could be bigger than life on television, commercials, busted through the paper, you know, whatever, whatever that is. And entertainer, funny. Um, and then and then there was times where he he'd like to be alone or just with his family, or just with a small circle of friends. In fact, Amy, you, you probably remember, at, even at the botch event, because we would do a welcome, and we would do mm-hmm. some TV interviews, but he wasn't looking for that stuff. He would he would stand at the far side of the court, where kind of yep. nobody could pass by and get a, worked out a thousand autographs, and he just, he just kind of tried to stay away from it as much as he could sometimes, and... Um, he was he was he was one of those guys that could turn it on, turn it off. Um, but and of course, the older he got, um, I think the more and more to himself he was, you know, the quieter life that he was leading. And uh, but gosh, now that we're talking about it, I'm really missing him. And, and, you know, Mooch, you mentioned that he was very, very funny. And he was, of course, and people saw the public funny. I thought the funnier part of Madden wasn't the public funny, but the quiet voice just so witty when we would attend charity dinners throughout the bay area wherever we were we would go to charity dinners where the raiders had bought tables and often i was sitting next to mooch and he would in an under the breath voice have the wittiest running commentary during the charity events that there were times he was making comments under his voice i was laughing like a teenage girl and al was having to tell us both to behave yeah yeah hang on Hang on. We're getting a tour of Mooch's office. Well. Nice artwork, so too. After he passed, you know, the oh. next time around, of course, just Virginia and Mike and Joe, and they still come and play. They have a team. Um, we we gave this, uh, you know, yeah, you got to have a gift, right, for people or when they play in your bocce tournament. Oh, so wow. This was- Oh, wow. Uh, Beautiful. Check out new episodes of What the Football with Susie Schuster and Amy Trask every Tuesday. Watch us on the Rich Eisen Show YouTube page or follow and listen wherever you get your podcasts.